Uh, John, what do we take away as, I suppose, potential economic direction, uh, takeaways for the markets out of this? So Premier Li Keqiang has been, I would say, the most outspoken senior leader in China when it comes to economic growth. Uh, he's been going around calling for tax cuts, calling for governments to spend more, uh, calling for more action to stabilize uh, the economy, growth, uh, jobs. Uh, so it is not out of character that he would be talking again about the need to do more. Uh, Obviously, the pressures on the economy are extremely large. Uh, you've talked about COVID. Uh, obviously, the outlook for trade is looking dimmer by the day. And again, property is still a, a big headache for the government here. And so I think we will see more action taken as we get to the end of the year. Uh, in December, we should have the economic work conference uh, where senior leadership plans out what they're going to do in 2023. So ahead of that or during that, I think we could see more steps taken as well. You know, going into the party Congress, it seemed like people were somewhat divided. The majority probably saying, well, once once you get over the Congress and, you know, Xi Jinping has his third term, uh, then he, he can more quickly move to doing away with COVID zero. But some people said, no, he's going to they're, they're going to hold on as long as co cases keep popping up. This will not end quickly and it may not end till much later next year. What are you picking up? I think the uh, I think she I think Li Keqiang I think the other leaders want to try and move away from COVID zero. Except I don't think they can at the moment, just because there is such a concern that if they do open, there will be a, a large number of deaths. There was a study by Fudan University last year that showed. Uh, if China adopted a position sort of like the U.S. has when it comes to COVID, that we would see about 1.6 million deaths in China. And so I think that is what's really worrying officials. And as long as we don't see a pickup in vaccination rates for the elderly, as long as we don't have uh, widespread use of virals, as long as there's concerns about the healthcare system and whether it can take a huge spike in infections, I don't think the leadership is going to have uh, the appetite to test, to risk potentially that sort of catastrophe.